Hi, I'm Steely. This is a fan game, and that means a lot of the content is stolen. I stole it all up, and now it's mine. Get lost. What up, guys? Mike Mount here coming at you with the Room of Roylands. So apparently you sneak into the hottest club in, the t in town, which is a club full of every character that Justin Roiland has voiced. So characters from Rick and Morty. Character, uh, I think, um, Lemon Grab from... Uh, fucking, I love that show. I can't remember. Adventure Time. Uh, there's probably a bunch more. Like, I don't understand who this little feller is. Hold E. Inventory. Use item. <laughs> Blue man won't let me inside the club. Wow. <laughs> okay. Alright, so I guess I can't get in through the door, but... Are they singing I Can Feel It in the Air tonight? It sounds like it. Who are you? I am Cosby number 10, data oh. analysis Cosby. There we go. Hmm. You should not be here, non Royland. I will not stop you, but be warned that the pa the patrons <laughs> the patrons within might not be so forgiving. If I were you, I would acquire a disguise as soon as possible. Patrons. Shit. Okay, so can I go in through one of these doors? I can. What about this door? No, nope, locked. But we're in. Fuck. Gotta love Phil Collins. Whoa! I just killed Mr. Meeseeks! <laughs> Shit! Oh, but I can wear his outfit, I guess? Oh, that's the eyeballs guy, isn't it? Uh, the eye holes? What's his name? The eye hole man, yeah. You're the chef, right? My vision is poorly developed since I only eat cereal. Have you seen my eye holes? Somebody took my eye holes. Aren't you supposed to find your own damn eye holes? Who do you think they are? Getting up on out of here with my eye holes. Oh man. I haven't even watched the newest season of Rick and Morty because I'm I'm waiting for it to all come out and I don't think it has yet. Uh, I want to binge watch it. Oh god, that's Doc and Marty. I got my boots. Uh, yeah. A guy can really get his groove on in a, pl in a shindig like this. <laughs> what I'm saying? So, if you guys didn't know, the original Rick and Morty was like a uh, Doc and Marty or something like that. And it was like a, a short. Oh, there's Mr. Meeseeks. Oh, there's the real Rick. Wow, he's voiced a lot of characters. I guess a lot of them are from uh, Rick and Morty though, right? Can I please change this? Hey, oh. Press my buttons, kid. There we go. Get Swifty. Oh my god, so you're Bill Cosby number eight. <laughs> like to spore and get into stuff. Maybe I will can look around, you know? Rudy. <laughs> Rudy. <laughs> fucking. Who are all these characters? <laughs> Who are you? Don't bother me. I'm in a very delicate situation. Oh, Mr. Poopy Butthole. Oh! Yeah. All right, yeah, Mr. Poopy Bottles. <laughs> Mr. Sprinkles. I'm Mr. Sprinkles. Let us know you frown. Together we'll boogie and learn to get down. Right. Fuck! I gotta, I gotta watch more of his shit. Oh Jesus! You scared the heck out of me. This place is insane. There's all kinds. Of hey, Michael is in the house. There's all kind of weird creatures, and they all share the same two or three voices. Seriously, it's like they aren't even trying. <laughs> Oh, hello, strange person. My name is Little Dipper. Come, come dance with me. Let's get dizzy together. Oh, that'll make me sick. Fuck, I love this. There are so many... Oh, there's a lemon grabs. Who are you? Hey, kid, you want to hear a tale from railroad times? Not really. No, I don't. I'm going to see. Is there actually any reason to go... Oh, and the shitter. Oh god is uh Don't tell me Jellybean King is in here. What are you doing here? What are you? Wow, hey. I was just hanging out here all by myself. <laughs> Clubs aren't really my thing, you know. My friends 
brought me here and then uh, dumped me in here so I wouldn't would be comfortable you know fish water heh so you're a fish it's been three hours can I stop talking now thanks oh good the jelly bean king isn't in here right in a game full of every character voiced by Justin Roiland I am in the bathroom dicking around not literally figuratively let's go in the ladies washroom oh you voiced a woman to poop the pachesticles? What? I shouldn't be here. Neither should I. I wish I knew who half these characters were. I only really have a limited grasp on all the shit he has done. Okay, so I talked to the Railroad Times guy. Mr. Me Seeks, I already killed one of you. <laughs> this is... <laughs> you probably thought I was Rick, didn't you? No such th no such luck, buddy. I'm Doc, motherfucker. I'm the classic character Doc from the ultra classic sensation Doc and Marty. See, yeah. So it was like the I think it was the pilot, but it was really really fucking vulgar. So the line he says, "Oh, say you look like you got a nice wet tongue in that mouth of yours. You want to help me go back in time? You gotta li apparently you gotta lick his balls or something. You gotta stop the fifties from ever happening, Marty. I mean, Marty." There's no time to lose. I'm not gonna lick your balls. What the fuck? A means to communicate with the toilet, possibly. Huh. Ah, I believe this one is trying to attempting to communicate with me. Hello, human. Yes. That seems to have gotten its attention. <laughs> Can I talk to a multiple It's now looking at me quizzically. We are com we are communing. Truly this is a meeting of minds across vast distances. Human, hello. Aha. Yes, my efforts continue to work. I'm just, it's now anxiously attempting to leave my presence. Having achieved total intellectual fulfillment. I just want to change the song because I'm tired of this one. There we go, that's Get Swifty. I, I forgot, I messed that one up. Who's this rigmarole? <laughs> this one is not Royland, is it, brother? Uh, what? No, my dear skin, it is not. It cannot grasp our Royland ways. God, these characters were some of my f my favorites. I am not here for you. Leave. Hmm. Yes. Hello. Jeez. Who's Mr. Bulldogs? So how was your day, Jerry? Welcome to Happy Bar. I got all kinds of things you need. Got any kind of drink you want? Oh God, I'm sorry. I lied. I only have one kind of drink. Oh God, I'm sorry. So sorry. All these bottles contain the same thing. Oh God, please forgive me. Doesn't seem like a happy bar. All right, you've cornered me. This is the only place I feel comfortable in my skin. I, I shouldn't really be here, but my body craves this 21st century beat. Royland really only does have two voices, and that's pushing. Well, maybe three. I would. I, I could give it three. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Oh, brilliant. Look who it is. Another non-Royland who snuck in to get a peek at all the ca characters. <laughs> and naturally, you gravitate right to me. I, well, actually, I talked to every single other person before you, Rick. Right to old Rick, hoping that I'll entertain you with wacky science hijinks and catchphrases. No such luck, bucko. Can I go past you? I can't. Alright, look. If you really want to peek at what's inside my secret portal, you can do me a favor. Hey, there's actually something to this game. Give me a cup of brain nuggets. Oh man, they get you so messed up, but the bartender cut me off. I think he's a, a teetotalist. <laughs> is that is that the right word? Yeah, a teetotalist. You know, for a fan game, it's actually you know the characters are kind of half written relatively accurately. I think. Is that even a sentence? Sure. You want brain nuggets? Oh boy, you're gonna love them. I got the best brain nuggets this side of Reggieville. They're life-changingly delicious. Here they come. I'm gonna hand you the brain nuggets right now. All I need is to see some ID. Ah, oh, come on. Where am I supposed to get ID from? Who's got ID for me? Uh, can't take his identity. Oh, ew. <laughs> So wait, I need ID? Where do I get ID from? No ID, no brain nuggets. Oh geez, please don't be mad at me. I don't want to lose a customer. 
Oh man, oh geez. Oh man, oh geez. Hmm. Who would have an ID? Would one of the Cosby's? Did you get me those brain nuggets? No, I didn't. I need my brain nuggets. Fuck. I got an ID. Can I ask Mr. Meeseeks for an ID? Ooh, I was created by that idiot in the kitchen to find a cereal box that probably doesn't exist. I'm Mr. Meeseeks. Look at me. Hmm. I like that there's actually... Can I just go into the... Who's Mr. Bulldogs? Okay, there's brain nuggets here though, right? Oh, those corn douglets and kumquats. Can I go here? No, I can't. Can I take your ID, Mr. Ten? Marvelous. If it weren't for the lack of blue complexion, you would be the spitting image of our beloved chef Meeseeks. I certainly hope you compensated him well for this uniform. Okay, gotta find an ID. But do I have to find this asshole's eyeball, or... Yeah, eye holes, not eyeballs. You have to have, get me in a box of eye holes. Shit, that's a quest. Give me my eye holes. What do you have? Uh, he just yells at me. Ah, uh, no, I'm stuck in real roads time talking. <laughs> Shit. There's an Irish train conductor who wished he was taller. He tied his feet to a train car and then his head to the engine to stretch him out. As you can imagine, it didn't work out so well. Because Big, Bigfoot snuck up and ate him. Do you have an ID? We're always pulling pranks on each other like that. Those guys are such kidders. <laughs> hmm. Like, um, this one time they took my wallet and spent all my money on drinks. That was also today. Good friends. Can I have... I don't think I'm a Royland. Oh, okay. That's fair. All right, here we go. Got to solve this quest. Who would have an ID? Give me an ID. Marty, do you have an ID? Probably don't. Wow, this so this music sure is great, huh? Hmm. Oh my god. This one's even worse than the regular Marty. Morty. Shit. Now I'm getting all confused. Uh. 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 Mr. Bulldogs. Real demon on the dance floor. Can you help me? Just can't do it in front of other people. Is this open now? No, it's not. I think there's actually a way to beat this, though. It's gotta be. What are all these people doing here? Hey, do you think we could help me pull a prank on them? I wrote this note that should make them laugh. Could you deliver it for me? It's really funny, but don't read before they do. It's the two yellow guys by the bar. Can't miss them. Okay. You guys really smell. You really smell like dog buns. I read it before. All right, so now I was wandering around for like 10 minutes there trying to figure it out. Huh? <laughs> uh, office, to the office. Oh, and they're gonna open that door. Wait, I'm, oh shit. <laughs> Why are you here? You're not supposed to be here. Fuck you. So this is a this is a character from the VR experience he did. He just swears that he's a guy in a train. He literally just swears at you this whole time. The desk says fuck. The desk is facing the wrong way. That's odd. He doesn't like this. Okay, I'm just gonna take the Morty key. The Mort key. What are you doing here Don't touch that. Place? Fuck you. You're touching. Who are? You? Who the fuck are you to be in this place? Uh. That's not your door. Fuck you. He's still yelling at me from far. Now I can open this door, I think. Yeah. Hey, Cosby. The door's open. Stop you. Stop. Shut up. Stop. Hmm. This door makes me curious. You see? All right. Whoa. Holy shit, this guy creeped me out. I'm Poopy Butthole Pooerson. You can call me Dirty Wet Poopy Poopy Sloppy Pooer Hole. Wow. What a name. What do you... Who are, I've just been, I was hanging with pumpkin seeds and peanuts just doing some dumpster junk. Humpster, who, <laughs> just looking through the trash and found this cool bar thing. Now I'm like my favorite all, all time, all star hero, Camden Friedman. Holy shit, who is this guy? Can I have that? Oh, who, I, <laughs> look at me, I'm Morgan Freeman hitting just 
Just hitting up all those crabs. Oh, it's supposed to be Gordon Freeman. Getting the sweet, delicious meat inside. Oh, baby. Okay, there's got to be a reason for this guy. Can I have your crowbar, Morgan Freeman? Say, you look a little sense crabs yourself, my rad dad daddy -o. I don't need to be dressed in Frenchman anymore. Now it's your turn. Nice, I got a crowbar. What do I use this for again? Hmm. Can I go probably open one of those boxes, I guess? The kumquats? Really angry guy. No, I cannot. What do you say? My analysis tells me you have recently had a very strange experience. Okay. So I got a crowbar. What do I do with this crowbar? Ah, I, I like that there's actually a game to this. I hear voices. Nice. Damn, this is really cool. Ow. Okay, bye. How do I get in here? Press E? Oh, oh, okay. I have to hold E, I keep forgetting. Oh, this is the uh, coat check with Marty. Morty. Fuck. Hi, Morty. Oh, jeez. Rick gave me some brain nuggets. I, I thought they were soda. I can't, I don't, I. Okay. So I got Marty's Wait, ID. Hey, that's my fake ID. How did you touch it? Did you? What do you mean, how did I touch it? Did you, oh, you have hands too? <laughs> All right, so we'll just uh, go back through here. That's pretty sweet. I don't know why checking is on the this side of it, but okay. I won't complain. Who was talking? Was it the guy in the, you're weird, poop and pee? What? Now I got myself an ID. Get me some brain nuggets. You have your ID and it clearly depicts your likeness. <laughs> oh man, I'm so excited. You're gonna love these brain nuggets. They're fantastic. They're amazing. Here they come right now. Just as soon as you prove yourself mature enough to handle them. How? How do I do that? What? How do I have to prove I'm mature? Oh God, please forgive me. Your ID is perfectly acceptable and obviously not completely fake at all, but brain nuggets are crazy. They're just nut balls, bananas. <laughs> Come back when you've de developed an air of maturity, like the kind of person who knew when this was all fields, back when people could take a, the cab for a dime. Oh my God. So I gotta get an old person's ID now? How the hell am I supposed to do that? How's the progress on the brain nuggets? For finding them necessary progression interactions or whatever. Good. Who cares? Just give me my drink. So I gotta talk to this old fucker, I guess. Here's another. Once upon a railroad time, there was a boy named Samson. Oh my god, Samson loved trains, so he decided to marry one. For the night in their wedding bed, his trainly beloved was too heavy for him to handle, and he was unexpectedly stabbed to death by a Chinese. My god. This is weird. Hi. Oh, hey again. Did, did they like it? Yes, they did. What are all these people doing here? Just hanging out, buddy. Okay, fuck. Now I gotta figure out how to, now I gotta figure out the next step. So this old fucker won't give me a shit. What about Marty? All right, Doc, I mean. Whoa. Oh shit, I actually did lick his balls. My God. <laughs> We're going back to the 50s or whatever. It's working. Oh my God. Lick my fucking balls, Marty. Lick them like the wind. What did I get myself into here? Oh shit. Cool. I'm Ah, I did what he asked me to do. I'm in a field. That's right, Martin. We did it Marty. We're back in time. This is right where the club was, but in this day it was all fields. It was all fields, Marty. <laughs> Just like my grap grandpappy used to say. Oh, is that what he used to say? Now what? Don't scrutinize it too much. I don't think they put a lot of effort into the art here. 
Yeah, it doesn't really look like it. It was a simpler time, Marty. People could take the cat cab for the a dime. Marty, Marty, Bad news. I'm feeling uh, low on time energy or something. This time I need you to cup the sack, Marty. Oh, wow. Look at the shadows. It's like delicate fruit. Like a delicate plum parfait. I'm ready whenever you are. All right. And away we go. Lick, lick, lick my balls. Oof, that's creepy. Uh, can I have your ID now? Wow, that was a lot faster that time. I, uh, I hope you enjoyed this little adventure of ours. I, I sure did. And remember to read the latest issue of Scud, the Disposable Assassin, coming in 2008 to a comic shop near you. What? Can I have your ID? Okay, I'm done now. This is where I repeat stuff, so unless you want to lick my balls again, you'd better move on. <laughs> Come back if you have a question or something, maybe. I don't know. So wait, well... Wow, that's amazing! You found your ID and you have an air of maturity about you. You're the kind of finely aged customer who remembers when this was all fields. Oh man, those were the days. Who is this guy? I don't remember them. I'm gonna give you brain nuggets right now. Here you go. Finally. Holy shit. This was surpri surprisingly flushed out. Like, I'm impressed with how flushed out this was. Wow, you, you're lamer than I thought. You had a chance to drink this mysterious wonder liquid and didn't take it. Well, I got news for you. No losers allowed in the VIP area. God damn it. Not letting you pass until you've thrown up at least once. Drink the nugs, nerd. All right. Check the nugs. Now what? Oh. Okay. What's going? All right. This is incredibly fleshed out. I did not expect this to have so much effort. Oh, there's a shitter. Will you be my friend? Need a place to throw up? Apparently. The dogs have eyes here. They didn't mean to. What? Just flush that. Hello. Are you okay? I am now. Wee. Honestly, a full Royland game, completely voiced, not as much swearing as accounting. Accounting is the game the guy in the tree was from. I just remembered the name of it. Now I've thrown up. I would love a. Welcome back, Sandy Purple Bananas or whatever. Cool, now go get another cup and bring it here. God damn. I just remembered there was like a Rick and Morty uh, VR experience, I think. It was too expensive for me. It was like 30 bucks and apparently it was only like, it was pretty short and it was not really worth it in my opinion, but I would like an actual game kind of like this. My best customer, how do you like it? Please tell me you liked it. Another, of course. Please don't give me a bad review. I drank that one. Okay. Where are we going? Are we going back to the forest? Yes. Damn. Here we go again, Mr. Cup. I'm coming for you. Coming for you. Anytime now. That is a creepy looking cup. You can't find it yet. Nobody told you. What? What is he talking about? Alright. I'm just going to bring the cup to Rick. See what's up. Up cup. Jerry, pretty okay. good, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Give me my cup. Please tell me you liked it. Another? Of course. Please don't. Give me a bad review. Here you go, Rick. It's about time. Down the hurt etch. Uh oh. <laughs> I can just step over him. Oof. I'm gonna walk over him a couple times. Oof, oof. Okay. Through the portal. Ooh, I really like the graphics of this. Now what? This is so long. I didn't expect this game to be this long. That's ridiculous. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Into the Royland Hole. And?
This game is super long. This is ridiculous. I thought this would be like 10 minutes long tops. I've been playing for 35 minutes now. Holy moly, macaroni. So serene. So there's, a, there's a lot of effort put into this. I'm very impressed. This is getting like, this is just, well, I had literally no expectations when I entered. So it's not very like difficult to break them, but they are being broken. Oh my God, how much longer? There we go. Guess the fuck. <gasps> the eye holes. These are the eye holes, aren't they? Yeah, yep, yeah, I knew it. I got his eye holes. Can I just take the shortcut? No, I can't. Damn. And back down we go. But we got his eye holes, which means I guess we can complete our quest in the. Whoa! Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Wow. Alright, so I just got my... Oh, and that's where these guys are from. Interesting. I guess that's the Rock Gods of the Rock Gods theme or whatever that was. Oh, and it's over. Okay. That was actually really fun. I actually, you know, I found that really enjoyable. Uh, there's a lot of wandering around up parts. I didn't realize like I looked up the uh, I went back to the page and it said hints talk to people multiple times So then I started figuring things out, but yeah, that was actually really fun I'll link it in case you guys want to go through and play it yourself uh, But that was actually really enjoyable. So I'm gonna cut this here clearly tell me uh, uh, uh I don't know tell me whatever have you seen Rick and Morty yet? Don't spoil no spoilerinos, but I want to like uh, is the third season any better then second season the second season was kind of a lull in my opinion compared to the first one but you know it's hard to improve on perfection yeah uh give me a like if you enjoyed this dislike it if you didn't it's cool by me and if you aren't subscribed feel free to check out my other content because i got two videos a day every single day uh there's some okay stuff in there you know so feel free to check it out but i am going to cut this here and i'll catch you guys 